bro. The Lyra I does not a, need this. Crazy people love playing, playing Hearts of Iron. Before. Eating pussy is the basic bare minimum thing you can do. Where did they find these people, dude? And women want to have sex. Your job is posting. You're gay. Oh God, I hate women so much. Is he really a socialist? He's such a himbo, I can't handle it. He's got a car and a house, and it's better than mine. How the fuck can I sit here like Evan is fine? I hate That's just me being a fucking hog. A zone is streaming. Watch him on that club. What's going on, everybody? I hope everyone's having a fantastic evening, fantastic afternoon, fantastic pre-noon. No matter where you are in the world, I'm Hassan Piker, and this is the Austin Ever Broadcast coming to you live from sunny California, Los Angeles, folks. It's 69 degrees and sunny here in California, Los Angeles, and I'm live and alive, and I hope all the boys, girls, and MBs are having a fantastic one because today's a beautiful day. Today's a wonderful day. Today is Saturday, October 28th, 11.54 a.m., and I'm a little late and I apologize. And I'm also a little groggy and I apologize for that as well. I'm a little sick. <clears throat> but today is a wonderful day. We have a very special guest here that will be joining me in a, in a little bit on the broadcast. His name is Alex, also known as Lol Overruled, the public defender, the number one uh, pro crime. We fucking did in a video game. Number one pro crime individual out there. <coughs> uh, he will be going through your ban appeals in a little bit, uh, possibly, possibly at uh, at a later hour, or maybe earlier. Anyway, but uh, wait, what is this? You jealous at all? The fuck? Of course. Oh my I'm God! Where is this happening? Are they in? Are they in Japan? Yeah, he's a public defender and a criminal lawyer. And by that, I mean he is a criminal. Space. He's a criminal, comma, lawyer. Um, <clears throat> anyway, um, folks, this is part of the broadcast where I tell you a little bit about my personal news, about what's going on in my life, about what's happening in the world of Hassan Hassan. I'll be Piker in between the time period where I uh, press the... Start streaming button and press the stop streaming button in between that time frame. And let me tell you, there's not much going on except for the fact that I ended the broadcast yesterday on a rage quit on Spooderman. It was a very difficult game. It's not a childish game. Everyone says, oh, it's a game for baby. Shut the fuck up. Actually, a very difficult game. Probably one of the most difficult games I've ever played in my life. Anyway, um, I ended the broadcast, sat here, hung out with Austin a little bit, and then we shot the Fear End podcast. We shot the Fear End podcast last night because uh, a lot of people were flying out. Half the cast was flying out to uh, uh, <clears throat> Houston or Dallas, one or the other. I don't fucking know. Anyway, <coughs> um, for a name, your price. That's right. So we had a really, we had a banger episode, a Halloween episode, as a matter of fact, where Will and I have probably gotten more cunty than... We ever have. I mean, we were we we were cunt maxing, okay, straight up. I'll keep it a buck fifty. We were cunt maxing. I said and did things that like I don't really remember. I'll I'll admit. I'll admit to that right now. I'll cop to that right the fuck now. I don't remember what I did while I was Barbie. Okay, I was serving Barbussy. I was cunt maxing. I was going crazy mode. Um, but I think the content that'll come out of that is wonderful. And I think you guys will appreciate it. Now, um, other than that, uh, I woke up this morning and I have been trying to fix the technical problems. Kind of slept in a little bit, fix the technical problems, do a little bit of reading, a little bit of responding on Twitter to people. Uh, you know, that sort of stuff. Uh, and, and there isn't really much going on in my life other than that. I'm about to finish Gen V. Um, wasn't able to finish Gen V. UAW has reached a tentative deal with Stellantis following Ford, which is pretty fire. Um, so GM is probably going to come out as well. 
Are you going to cover the idea of murdering your stream intro because they couldn't wait for the new segment to start? No. But yeah, this is what we looked like on VRN yesterday. I just want to show what cunt maxing looks like for those of you who are oblivious to that. Mike Pe Michael Pence is out. We're going to be talking about that today as well. Former Vice President Michael McDonald Pence is spending his 2024 presidential bid, which is devastating. For all the Pence heads out there, myself included, we really wanted a dedicated, loyal Christian zealot in the field. Talking about how... Talking about how, you know, it should be, even if you think about getting an abortion, you should be killed. That sort of stuff. Like, Mike Pence was always pushing the boundaries, you know? And, and I, I, I like that. He was representing me and 12 other people in my cult, in my psychotic Christian fascist cult. So, finally, uh, the, the, the American authorities have seized control over the election. The Patriots are rising up, and they took over. They took out Michael Pence. Kind of fucked up. Um, Elon Musk says Starlink will support connectivity to internationally aid recognized organizations in Gaza. This is the greatest thing that Elon Musk has ever done. I'm not going to lie to you. This greatly, greatly changes my perception of him. I've never, I will say it right now. I will say it with my fucking chest. This is an incredible, I don't know, knowing Elon, I'm unfamiliar with like how he's going to operate here. And I don't know if he's actually going to do that. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't want to say anything, <clears throat> especially because there are no uh, there are no terminals. Like you need to fucking put them inside. You need to you need to get them inside of Gaza. And there's currently uh, like aid is very. I mean, anything that goes into Gaza is controlled by Israel. But um, I don't believe that they would allow that to happen. So. Um. No power either, no electricity. I mean, there's still some semblance of fuel, obviously. That's why hospitals are still able to operate. So Starlink would be able to operate, especially if they put it in um, the same as Ukraine. It'll be, I mean, it's not the same as Ukraine. It's a much worse situation, much more dire than Ukraine. But like, as long as there are terminals, especially because, you know, um, these will be internationally recognized aid organizations. They get the terminals. We'll see what happens. IDF said they would oppose Starlink. Check Al Jazeera. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. <clears throat> Hamas would shoot the Starlink satellites? No. Um, what would actually end up happening is Israel would shoot the Starlink terminals, which would be used, used by, like, you know, the Red Crescent uh, of Palestine, Red Crescent Society of Palestine, and PC, uh, the Palestinian Children Relief and in UN UNRWA for the most part. Um, and then they would blow them up like they have m many times over and say Hamas was using them. And then everyone in the American media would go, oh, I guess Hamas was using them. Well, sucks to suck. Um, so, yeah, that's what most likely would happen. But I don't think that, you know, I don't know if that would ever happen. Let's see. Uh, so. <sighs> Anyway, uh, I just dropped right into the fucking news, but um, there's not really too much else going on in my life as far as personal news goes. So, you know, here. Uh, we'll uh, do a um, UAW tentative deal with Stellantis. Yes, Chris Hayes call for a, a ceasefire. We'll be talking about that as well. Is Kai super smart now? I mean, all videos that I've seen so far are incredible. Like, they're incredible. <coughs> um, Kai updates are that, like, she completely sits when she's on leash. She started her off-leash training. Um, she literally will sit when she's, uh, when she's, uh, like, when she's on leash, when she's walking with a leash... As soon as uh, the trainer stops, she stops and looks up, which is really good. Um, and then also when the trainer drops the leash and walks away, she just sits in place and waits, which is really, really good. Everyone should go to boot camp then? Yes. Um, everyone should go to boot camp. <clears throat> UAW tentative deal with Stellantis reached. Um, on updates from Gaza post IDF siege, 
UAW tentative deal with Solantis reached. At law. Is here to do ban appeals later and more. <laughs> Mike Pence drops from the race. <clears throat> when Kaya training stream, when she's back, we'll do a full scale training stream where you guys can see how well she behaves. Maybe I'll take her to like the dog park or something to test it out too. Then Yahoo did another Palpatine like post conference today. Yes, we're going to do that in a second. We're going to get to all of that. All right, but that's it. Um, here's the post. <clears throat> here's the post. We are live. We're alive. Let the people know. <sighs> All right, here, let's get started. Let's